Hello, Max here. Welcome to MME, Movie Madness, and actually now it's just Movie Madness Entertainment. Uh, this is my series where I go over the best news and entertainment. Now, this actually, I saw this yesterday. I'm still filming. It's midnight. I'm about to go to bed. I have a long day at work tomorrow, or this morning, actually. It's just midnight, 12.07. But I wanted to cover this because I am excited about Guillermo del Toro. Returning to a big budget movie. I'm sorry, Verklempt. Remember the uh, Siren Live Mike Myers? Okay, I'm okay. And sorry about the mess. My uh, man cave is under construction. I'm also testing out my 4K camera. So let me know how it uh, looks. The sights or the sounds, the video, the audio. Um, you know, let me make, tell me how everything's going. But I wanted to do a video on the new images from Guillermo del Toro's Frankenstein. Classic monster movie, classic horror. Um, I think it's going to get a lot of people excited. I think also when you talk about Guillermo del Toro and this type of project, you're talking awards contention. Let me, let me, there, there, there we go. Because I want to take a good look at this. So here's, uh, here is Oscar Isaac. Uh, dressed up in his uh, in his costume for his character looks very interesting. Um, is he Doctor Frankenstein? I don't. I I forget who's playing which character, but I I would assume. Uh, looking looking pretty uh pretty spiffy there. There's some. I there's some. That's obviously not Guillermo del Toro. There's someone with an umbrella. Let's see what else we got here. Um. Just a horse and carriage walking down the streets. They're not going to show you the monster, Frankenstein monster, of course. I do not know who this is. I'm sorry, that's really small. Why did it get so small all of a sudden? I don't know who this actress is. I, can't, I haven't really, I've never seen these actresses. I think the main one to take away is this image here with Oscar Isaac. Um, I guess it's not as much to go on as I thought. But it's still good news because it's filming and it's it's uh, Guillermo del Toro returning to the big screen. You know, he's done a lot of projects on Netflix. He's had a lot of projects fall through that have not been with Netflix. And I think this is one of the projects that he's been talking about for years. He's wanted to do this. So I'm glad he's he's going to do it. Honestly, the only thing that would get me more excited than this would be if he got to do Hellboy 3, which it just ain't going to happen. Especially since Ron Perlman is very political online. And that just doesn't fly anymore when you have uh, investors wanting to invest your movie. Especially now. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Especially now. But what do you think are the first images from Guillermo del Toro's Frankenstein? What do you think of Oscar Isaac? Um, I was hoping there'd be... I honestly just retweeted this picture and I was hoping there'd be something cooler in the other pictures, but they're really basic. Horse and carriage and some female characters that I do not know the actresses at all. But I'm I'm assuming because it's Guillermo del Toro, A-list cast, it's going to be great. And actually, let me look at when this is coming out. Did they wrap filming? I should have done more research before I recorded this video. Guillermo, hold on. Del Toro. Frankenstein release date. It says 2025. Okay, let me see. Uh, what is this? Okay, let me bring this up. This is this is kind of interesting. Um, because I'm googling Guillermo del Toro Frankenstein. And it says, um, The Bride, October 3rd, 2025. The Wolfman, January 15th, 2025. Are these still accurate? Is this still accurate? I don't know. Uh, all right, let me see. Guillermo del Toro, exciting update. I, I, 
isn't Maggie Gyllenhaal or someone doing The Bride, is that connected? I feel really dumb right now, and I'm still going to release the video, so please correct me in the comments section. Are these movies connected? I have no idea. Uh, remember they were going to do the uh, MonsterVerse before? So, posted on X, Del Toro has officially confirmed the production is wrapped on a star studded Frankenstein movie. After several months since filming started in Toronto back in February, following the critical success Critical success of Pinocchio, The Shape of Water filmmaker has once again partnered with Netflix. Oh, it is Netflix. For the distribution of his new movie, which currently has no official release date attached to it. The 2022 remake gave Del Toro his eighth Oscar award after it won against Puss in Boots. Um, so that is, that is Netflix. Wow. Um, you know... Lots of people have issues with Netflix, but it provided, a, you know, it, it helped the careers of quite a few directors that normal avenues of Hollywood have uh, chewed up and spit out some of these amazing directors that uh, demand um, really quality films, really quality productions, and don't settle for less, and they don't always get huge box office success, but they are critically acclaimed. And fan favorites. Um, so, good on Netflix from this one. Mia Goth. I have become a Mia Goth fan thanks to my pals Bruce, uh, Perp, and Rhea. And a lot of other people that like horror. Um, so, she praises Guillermo del Toro. In a previous interview, Goth had shared what it was like working with del, del Toro on the production of Frankenstein movie. The rising scream queen expressed how much she loved her collaborating with the acclaimed filmmaker while also hyping up the upcoming sci for her horror remake. It's been amazing. It's everything I wanted to be and more. I love Guillermo. I love working with him. He's an incredible director. Everyone knows that, but he's also just like such a wonderful person. And yeah, I'm very excited. So this is a really cool project. Oh, here it is. Apart from Diamo del Toro's Frankenstein movie, actor-director Maggie Gyllenhaal is also directing a new adaptation of Shelley's 1818 novel, which is also expected to debut in 2025, titled As the Bride. Gyllenhaal's new movie, Monster, monster Movie, will be led by Christian Bale's Frankenstein's Monster and Jesse Buckley as Frankenstein's Bride. So this, can't, this is not connected, but... Um, uh, classic monster movie fans are going to have a lot to celebrate in 2025. So that's good news. At least it's good news to me. Is it good news to you? Let me know in the comments section. Give me some more good news. We can all use some good news now. Give me some more good news in the comments section. Video games, movies, music, new 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 singles, new new tracks, new music videos, um, un, uh, hidden gems in entertainment that we haven't talked about. I want to know it all. I will see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.